dark brown. Nice. Cyan. Cyan. Everyone loves underpants the 2nd of March 2017. Analyzing scene. A group of trees next to a house. All right, ladies and gents, we are back again with hidden features for your S22 Ultra. As usual, a good number of these features can be used with your S22 Plus, your S22 Series devices, so you don't have to have an S22 Ultra to use this feature. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, did you know that you could take your S22 Ultra and point it at a scene and get it to describe what it sees? You can also get it to describe an object or tell you what color you are looking at at varying levels of accuracy and this is why Samsung makes you dig deep for this feature to find it to activate it to then use it because it is in the better stages so this should be fun let me tell you how to activate it on your device what you will need to do would be to go into your settings go to accessibility go to advanced settings go to Bixby vision for accessibility and here you turn on your scene describer, object identifier, text reader, and color detector. And once you do that, if you open your Bixby vision, you now have all these options toggled. Normally, if this was turned off and you went to Bixby vision, you only have these options here, your translate, your text, discover, shopping, and wine. Now, if we were to go back and turn it on, these four options will now be open in Bixby Vision. Using your S22 Ultra at night can be a blinding experience. So Samsung gave us the extra dim feature right here. Now, what if I told you this extra dim feature, you can actually make it more dim than what it currently is. To activate this feature or to update it would be to come to your notification panel right here and click on the extra dim, the words itself, not the icon. Go into details and right here you can see intensity it makes it a little bit more aggressive which if you if this is what you prefer at night you could leave it this way so next time you toggle on or off extra dim feature it drops it to that level which is the level which you want it to be i love customizing my device but i've never really changed my font style as i always thought it a step too far as your font style is the backbone of your device which is insane considering i customize other aspects of the phone that affect actual performance we do not put much thought into written words but it permeates everything we do on our phones from notifications to notification panels to messages to browsing to settings to the time on the lock screen and a host of other things that are there but do not pull your attention to it Ever since I started playing with font size, the only thing that saddens me is the fact that when I text someone or send someone a lovely message I've constructed, they see it in their own standard font style, which is a shame. Now, to change the font style, what you will need to do would be to go into your settings, go to display, go to font style and size, and here on font size and here click on font style. I'm currently using Rosemary, but if you wanted to download fonts, you could click on here, this option here, and it will show you a list of font size options there. You don't have to go through that method to download a font, size, a font style. What you could do is jump into your Galaxy Store and then put on fonts. Oh, dear me. Put on fonts or put in fonts. And right here, you have a variety of fonts. The next feature is pretty awesome. It blew my mind. Um, let me explain this to you. So. We've got this dark image here, here. If you want to bring life to this dark image, or if you wanted to see what was behind this dark image, what you would naturally try to do would be to increase your brightness by going in here, clicking on this sunshine icon there, clicking on brightness here, and increasing it. What it does is it increases the brightness to the areas where there is already light present. As you can see, the highlighted areas are areas that are, you can already see. But what you could do to bring out, to bring life to this image would be to tap on light balance. And I want you to watch this area here, which is the darkened area, and see what happens. Just watch this. Are you looking at that? Are you seeing that? Do you see that? 
it's just brought it's brought out this hidden aspect here something which you wouldn't have noticed i'm sure the artist wanted that hidden because he made the picture interesting which is absolutely incredible so the easiest way will be to click on go into your image or go into your gallery pick a picture that you want to edit click on your edit click on the sunshine icon here and then click on light balance and adjust accordingly it's just beautiful S22 Ultra and Note users will enjoy this feature. It allows you more customization options when using your S Pen. Pentastic allows you to customize your edit commands menu by choosing one of these options right here. At the moment, when you take out your S Pen, you get this air command right here. But before this came into place, there were a few variations, which the compact, the line, the circle, and the retro. So if you wanted to go back to those days when it was the retro option, you could just tap on it, click on use. I'll set that on right here, you don't see. So I can tap on it and still have the options right there. So let's look at this here, compact. This is what it was, use. And there we go. It is there. Right. Yeah, click on it and you get these options right here. The next thing the app allows you to do would be to customize the pointer options there. Right now, when you're using your S Pen, um, if you, I'm not sure you can see this, but there is a circular dot right there. You could change this to the arrow figure right here. You could change this to a few other images. And if it's something you wanted to customize, you could also do that by picking from your gallery. And every time you use your S Pen, you get that image right there. That is the other customization option there for you. So I'm just gonna jump back to my default anyways. And the other thing is the default sound. When you put your S Pen back into your phone, it makes a sound. You hear that sound? That <laughs> Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Let's try again. You could change that sound to something else. Let's try, let's play hard and listen to it. Let's play this, Croco. New. Let's try Bobby. Mm, so I think that's better. So we're going to use Bobby for this and let me put it in. <laughs> there we go. Bring it up. <laughs> anyways, sorry, just a dirty mind anyways. Um, next thing is you can also customize it. So I've added a sound there and if I bring out my S Pen, it makes a noise. Listen. There we go. But the next other feature right here is your double tap shortcut. So um, if you tap on it, you can jump into your double tap shortcut and click on the S Pen features which you would like to be activated when you double tap or you could pick an app to open up when you double tap and it's not just your usual double tapping I will show it to you in a sec so I've chosen YouTube as my form or what I wanted to do when I double tap and then what you need to do is hold on to this area here and double tap the screen and it opens up that app which is which is which is fun to do um, I use this method you could use this method so I'm um, back out again hold on to it button double tap and it comes up so you're in your yeah you're in your play store you can hold it double tap and you're back into youtube swiftly that is incredible to be able to customize your s22 ultra or note series to this level what you will need to do would be to go into the galaxy store and install your good luck app if you've not done it before open it up and then go to your family section and install pentastic once you install Pentastic and open it up, you now get this option here to edit your air commands, to edit your pointer, to edit the sound, and to set up the favorite double tap shortcut. Now, don't just think of it as a shortcut to open an app. You can use it for something more than that. If you've seen my last video on hidden features for the S22 Ultra, then you're familiar with the Good Luck app. But if you're not familiar with the app, what you would need to do would be to go into your Galaxy Store, right? And download Good Luck, right? Search for it. 
Once you download it, you can then open it. And you have a variety of apps there that would help you customize your device. The next thing you could do here would be to install Quick Start. Now I've already installed mine, so once you install it, you can turn it on. Now, Quick Start is an app that allows you to do a few things that are quite interesting. The first thing there will be to style your own Quick Panel. Once you click on it and toggle it on, it gives you a variety of options on themes that would allow you customize your notification panel. It allows you to choose your own themes. Let's go for, no, 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 no. Go back in here, AS Sweet QS Sweet Candy. And once I scroll down now, you see how it's changed the notification. So it only affects the notification, nothing else right here, okay? So if I wanted to change it back, um, let's go for normal sample. Here we go, back to normal sample. It also allows you to make a few changes or personal changes to your control panel. The next thing there would be the visibility of indicator icons. These icons are the top right here. If you, if you the type that doesn't want to see a few icons, for example, maybe the battery icon because you don't want to see the red and yellow icon that makes you a little bit antsy as to how quickly your battery is draining. What you could do would be tap on visibility of lock screen icon, then come here and toggle off battery icon and it's now turned off. If you want, you could go a step further and just, you know, toggle everything off. There you go. And you have, you now have this minim minimalized look at the top right here. The next thing here is the clock setting. And this is pretty interesting. So once you jump in here, you can make your clock show the PM or the AM um, icon next to it. If this is something that confuses you and you like to just have this icon right there or you could hide it completely or you could move it to the right normally there are two methods of pulling down your notification panel the one finger which pulls down the notification panel and you get these quick icons at the top or the two fingers right we pull which brings you down here now you could use one finger for both options but now let me explain if you toggle on this open quick panel directly it gives you an option that allows you to open up your notification panel or your quick settings depending on which part of the screen you pull down from right now it says 50 percent and 50 percent so all you have to do is from this area here you swipe down that's for your notification panel from this area here if you swipe down it takes you directly into your quick tiles to allow you to toggle on or off whatever you wanted to toggle if you wanted this to be a little bit more one-sided you could move it this way as you can see you see the icon there it makes it easier for you to know where it is so right now if i swipe from here i get notifications and if i swipe from here it takes me directly into the quick start icon did you know while you're in your phone contact or recent contact you could just swipe right to call or swipe left to send a message this is a quick tip there so let me know how many of you actually know this let me know in the comments guys if these hidden features have been useful which of them you've used and which of them you already knew about and do you know i appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch me ramble on please remember to leave a like share and subscribe as it does do a lot to help the channel and as always um, stay safe and i will catch you in the next one